What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Come on now, boy. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Gone. Shit. This don't look so good. What? Clearly ain't here, so where is he? Let's take a look around. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. You see anything there? Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Found anything? What do you think?
Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Look. Tracks. Come on. There's some blood here. That ain't good. What are you doing? Let's go. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right. I guess. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place to expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in... You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Arthur, where are you going? Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. Thing. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. All right, that should do it. Come 
on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Must be it. Good girl. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. That the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't deal with them, my brothers. Don't let them get away. Could have told them anything. One more, Charles! Did you see those birds?
see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't. Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Gunshots are coming from that barn! Come on! for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up. Slippery feather. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it.
Morning, Arthur. Morning. Them boys you used to run with? They ran with me. They kidnapped me when I was 12 years old, right from my mama. That's us? Malcolm Foreman. 
Well, he treated me real bad. He was bad. Know how I slit his throat and ran away? I never felt bad about killing him. I ran back to where my mama was working. She died. I was falling into trouble. Good morning, Arthur. Dutch. Morning. Dutch, he found me. Saved me. Raised me. Whiskey kind of morning. Yeah. You gonna pass out in your own shit again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard it all before. <laughs> you bring in no money and drink ten times your share. Why are you having a conniption fit? You're like a goddamn tick, sucking us dry. Fine. Watch me ignore you. Can I talk to you for a second, Dutch? Of course. Well, it's Miss O'Shea. She doesn't seem too happy. That's her business. Well, I hope so. I hope she doesn't make it all our business. She's got a temper on her, Dutch. She is not the only one of us with a temper, Miss Grimshaw. Well, I don't like it. Not now. Arthur! It's like I always say. There's two theories when it comes to arguing with young women. And neither of them work. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. Molly. Another day. You look fine. Okay, Arthur. Well, don't let me interrupt the beauty routine. Well, I'm not much company. Take care. Molly really don't seem to be doing too well, Dutch. She'll be fine. Don't you worry about it. Okay. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Nothing on this one.
Great. Here. There, but uh, nothing. Nothing here. You know, I think I like this spot better than Horseshoe Overlook now. Ain't worth now. anything, but there. I was thinking the same thing. I guess I kind of feel bad for you. There. Perfect, there we go. Nothing on this one. Well, whoops for you. Garbage. Nothing here. I'm done. Good for Domino. you. Really? That's as it should be. Come here. Sorry. Ain't worth much. Hurry up, Pearson. I'm starving here. It'll be ready when it's ready. If the Pinkertons could see you now. Killer, bank robber, Domino's player. You gotta keep them on their toes. Not the way you wanted to get arrested, though. Imagine the newspaper headlines. Well, keep your eye out then. Nothing on this one. Perfect. You're on real shit. Shoot. Ah, well. Shoot. Give me something. This ain't looking great for you. Hello, let's go.
This ain't worth nothing. Oh, come on. Again? Pass. No, not me. Pass me. Well, how's that crew coming along, Mr. Pearson? I'll pass. There, but all for nothing. Nah. No, pass. Yes. Damn, fine, here. All right, there we go. Been waiting for this. It wasn't that bad. I guess I kind of feel bad for you.
Here we have it, Domino. I'll take it. You'll get precious little from me. Hosea and Dutch have got that twinkle in their eyes again. That usually means trouble. Ha! <laughs> well... There, but nothing. Domino. Good for okay. you, I guess. Nothing for you, my friend. some trouble, my friend. Ah, well. How's that food coming along? Here, it ain't worth much. Yes, come on. Unlucky there.
When I walk around Rose, it feels like a town trapped in time. It really does. Huh, yeah. That's not pretty. That's not looking up, amigo. Ouch. Great. Here. There. And points for me. There. Now what I get. That's no good. Domino, oh, I damn believe. you. Okay, yes. You ain't getting nothing from me, ha! Huh? Nothing here. That's it. This ain't worth nothing. All done Let's think you're and real domino. Ah, oh, sorry, here.
that worked. Domino. Good for you, really. Yep, there. Shoot. Here. Come to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes! Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really people talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. 
So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. <laughs>